Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at 16 things you probably didn't know about in Tears of the Kingdom. Alright, so in Breath of the Wild, in Kakariko Village, under this bridge, there's actually a secret apple that Nintendo decided to hide. But now, if you go there in Tears of the Kingdom, they actually hit a second apple right next to it. And I think that's pretty cool. Alright, so everybody loves shield surfing, right? Well, did you know if you actually fuse icy meat to your shield, you can actually go a lot farther and a lot faster with it. Yeah, now I'm gonna add frozen meat to all of my shields. So in Tears of the Kingdom, they added a new thing called a Muddle Bud. And basically all it did was makes other enemies attack each other. So when you shoot it at a battle talus, it like launches the Bokoblins off. And I think that's pretty funny. Like look how high he just went. Did you guys know that you can actually ascend through an object that you're holding? I think that's pretty good because then you can quickly jump off a rock and get a good bullet time. So yeah, that can be pretty helpful. I think we all know about the bridge that shatters around Princess Zelda's study, but did you know that you can actually fuse those pieces to your items? I mean, that's basically just fusing Hyrule Castle to your shield and stuff. So that's pretty fun, I guess. I, I don't see the use of it, but okay. <laughs> We all hate the annoying gloom that constantly drains Link's health, but you can actually just skip it by shield surfing over it with taking no damage at all. Anybody else miss Guardians? Because I like really miss Guardians. They're like my favorite enemy in the game. But thankfully, there's actually technically still one left on top of the Hateno Ancient Tech Lab. A fun little thing you can do is do like a slam thingy with an ice weapon down a waterfall and then you can enjoy a nice ice block shower. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty cool and satisfying. You guys should try this one. A new thing they add in Tears of the Kingdom is being able to break the rocks above this type of octa rock. And they're a lot easier to kill now because in Breath of the Wild it was actually impossible to break the rock above them. Constructs with all their new attacks can be kind of hard to parry sometimes, but you can actually just click right as their eye flashes red, and you'll get it every time. We all know that shooting a shock arrow into water makes it do like a weird explodey thingy, but did you know when you're using Sidon shield, it'll actually do it every time. Did you know that you can actually blow away the Like Likes attacks? This works with the fire and the lightning one too. One of my favorite new things in Tears of the Kingdom is wearing one of the Divine Beast masks, because it also makes your sages wear like a weird Zonai version of them. In this cutscene, at like the very start of the game, we see Zelda fall down a hole and drop her torch. But if you actually go down the hole that she fell, you can actually find her torch lying on the ground down there. When shooting an arrow at your enemies, you can attach a key side to your arrow to make it so that you can't miss your shot. And see when the arrow pulses like that, that means that it, that it can see and hit your enemy. But when it's not pulsing, that means it can't see it. This way you can know like when your arrow is going to hit and when it's not going to hit. Do you hate just scrolling through your inventory forever to find all the items to make a campfire? 
Well, you can actually just cook them all together, and well, you'll get like probably something gross. But now if you push select recipe, then it'll actually just bring up all the items for you without having to scroll forever. This way you can always have like an instant updraft and stuff. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all next time.